the science guy here. I'm going to explain the complicated logic behind carbon pricing. But first, safety glasses on. When something costs more, people buy less of it. Safety glasses on. That's it. So what's happening here is there are people who have cultural, political, religious, economic philosophies that they then invoke when they want to cherry pick one scientific result or another. You can find a scientific paper that says practically anything. carbon, say by burning coal or driving an SUV, all of us pay for that in the form of things like fires, floods, and crop failures. Putting a fee on carbon creates incentives to emit less carbon, and more importantly, it also incentivizes the development of low carbon technology, which is huge, because that's vital to reducing emissions globally. <laughs> If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. I worry that we might not be able to recover from this because all our greatest cities are on the oceans and water's edges, historically for commerce and transportation. And as storms kick in, as water levels rise, they are the first to go. And we're, we don't have a system, we don't have a civilization with the capacity to pick up a city and move it inland 20 miles. That's, this is happening faster than our ability to respond. That could have huge economic consequences. By the end of this century, if emissions keep rising, the average temperature on Earth could go up another four to eight degrees. What I'm saying is the planet's on fucking fire. There are a lot of things we could do to put it out. Are any of them free? No, of course not. Nothing's free, you idiots. Grow the fuck up. You're not children anymore. I didn't mind explaining photosynthesis to you when you were 12, but you're adults now, and this is an actual crisis. Got it? The extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. Safety glasses off, motherfuckers. 